new technology that has a potential to change the world. Here, they're developing the next generation of solar cells called perovskite solar panel, which can create energy, not just from sunlight, but also from artificial lights too. Look how thin it is, it's like a piece of paper. They're hoping to make it printable in the next three years and they're also making it transparent so it won't be as dark as this. And you can just put it on your window and create energy without blocking any sunlight. When ready, they're hoping their solar sheets to have a similar efficiency as a regular solar panel. But a successful product launch from a company like this, known as Deep Tech, takes time. That's because Kyoto University has two funds to invest in its own new ventures. The university has produced the highest number of Nobel Prize winners in Asia. And in 2015, the government offered $300 million so it can also encourage entrepreneurship. Since then, the number of startups have more than doubled. Another startup success story from Kyoto University is this chip manufacturer, Philosphia. It makes power semiconductors which use energy more efficiently and extend the lifespan of products such as electric cars. The company's chips are used everywhere, but a recent global shortage caused by the pandemic has suddenly put it in the spotlight. 30 years ago, Japan was a pioneer in the semiconductor industry. Now it has less than 10% of the market share, despite having some of the world's largest tech companies. It's firms like this that the government hopes will lead the road to recovery. Kyoto University graduate Toshimi Hitora founded this company in 2011, ま、それこそ京都大学があって、京都大学の中にあの、え、あの、様々な研究者がいて、で、あの、その研究者もそのコミュニティとして繋がってますし、で、産学連携の取り組み、で、ベンチャーをあの、育成する取り組みがあの、